Would you look at that? There ain't nothing quite like the night sky. I mean, look at all them there stars. I reckon there must be hundreds of them up there. More like a hundred billion of them, I reckon. Can't never could count them. Mm. A whole galaxy of stars. Men of science say there's 10 to the 10th power of them, too. Oh, galaxies, that is. 10 to the what now? Well, you know, approximately, of course. There's a right lot of them, that's for sure. Mm. Golly, that's a big one. I think that's bigger than the sun. Well, it's pretty bright, all right. Of course, in terms of size, uh, it all depends on how hot it is. Now, how do you figure that? Well, on account if you know how hot it is and how bright it is, well then, you can figure out how big it is. How's that now? Well, it's arithmetic, really. Is that, um, like that there, what do they do with the mathematics? It's simple, really. You convert your, uh, that their temperature, which is your hotness, into, you know, uh, units of intensity, which, of course, is your power per unit area. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody knows that, right? You gotta first assume, of course, that it's a so-called black body. Uh, you know, uh, an ideal radiator. An object that radiates or absorbs energy with perfect efficiency with all, at all the electromagnetic wavelengths, of course. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured that's what you mean. Then y'all can make that their conversion right quick on the count of Stefan's law. He's some kind of judge or sheriff in town? He figured out the power per unit area is directly proportional to the fourth power of the thermodynamic temperature. Is that a fact? So all you got to do is take your temperature, multiply it by 5.67 times 10 to the negative eight watts per meter squared per Kelvin to the fourth. Five point what? Approximately. But then you take that and then you divide it into your luminosity, which of course is your brightness. And then you divide that by four pi. Oh, pi you say? Now what type of pi? Well now hold your horses. We ain't quite done yet. You still got to take the square root. Square root? What is that, like some sort of fancy potato or something? Well, no, not exactly. But anyway, once you've done that, then what you got is your stellar radius. Well, that is to say, uh, size of your star. Hmm. Well, I'll be. I guess you can figure this all out. You know, all this talk of potatoes and pies has got me downright hungry. <sighs> Thank a God. Yep, I got four sardines left. You want half of them? Oh, it's half you say, huh? So how many is that?